Next steps are to remove the wax and <clears throat> expand the uh, mold, pull it apart, take the wax pattern out so that I can make a um, JB Weld and sand uh, mold so I can cast some lead weights to fit inside this shell. It works quite well. You can see one in the background. This time, a little bit differently than the last one, I'm going to make a little bit longer so that I can basically fit it for the entire length of that chassis from the front to the gear just above the last driver. But that's my goal and we'll see how it goes. Thanks. You can see now that I've started to pull the uh, pattern out of the mold slightly and removed some of the clay. So that's my next steps and I'll show you the uh, the finished pattern when I'm when I get it out. <coughs> now we've got our pattern trimmed up a little bit, cleaned up. You can see drops right back into the mold that I used which happens to be a K4 matrix shell. I'm going to pull that out and trim off the handles then I'm going to modify it to fit the, the frame or the chassis that you see in the background. When you're mixing the JB Weld, mix it up to about a eh, consistency of like a sandy peanut butter. Um, it works really well and I'm about to put it in the mold. Now I filled the mold with the uh, peanut buttery uh, JB Weld and inserted the uh, wax pattern into the mold. It's hard to see there, but it's in there. And when it's, when it's all hard and said and done, I'll take my uh, heat gun, my blow heat gun, and melt the wax out, and I'll have a 600 degree capable mold um, able to withstand uh, molten lead, and I'll make Daddy. weights for my locomotive. Okay, now I've cleaned off the clay from around the mold and I'm about to melt the wax out of the mold and I'll show you that picture next. Well, alright, and there you have it. The cleaned out mold, a little bit hard to see, but you can see the uh, cavity plain as day and now I'm ready to cast that'll give me a nice big long lead weight okay you can see I've got the molten lead sitting on my torch and I'm about ready to pour I gotta hurry up with this because I gotta I gotta insert too late. I'm never gonna get that thing out of there now. Well, I thought I had a blooper there, but uh it turned out well. I was able to get the um, casting out of the mold nice and easy. I must have did a good job with the draft on the, on the uh, pattern, the wax pattern, and uh, it seemed to work okay. And just so you get a chance to see what I'm doing here, here's my locomotive shell. And basically what I want to do 
is I'm making a lead weight that fits inside here like so and also we'll be able to take up as much space as I can inside the shell and on this frame to get a bunch of mass over the drivers. Seem to work good. Thanks for watching.